This is the plaintiff, Rosanna Reno. She says she purchased Cherrywood Kitchen cabinets from the defendant, and a year later, the doors started a crack. The defendant sent her new doors, but those doors weren't good either. The colors didn't match, and she wants her money back because what the defendant sold her was junk. She's suing for $2,268, the amount she's owed. This is the defendant, Michael Delamonica. He says the plaintiff doesn't understand the characteristics of cherry wood cabinets and doors. She has to understand that some wood finishes are grainy, some have knots. Regardless, he tried to please the plaintiff, switched out the doors for new ones, and she still didn't like them. What is he supposed to do? Change her doors every year? He's accused of not getting it right. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock, the plaintiff bought Cherrywood kitchen cabinets from the defendant, and they started to crack within a year. Now, the defendant says it's all part of the character. It's the case of the cabinets that weren't cherry. Thank you, Douglas. Roseanne Arino, you are suing the factory incorporated, represented here by Michael Della, Della Monica. You're the owner? Yes, sir. Okay. For $2,268, the amount that you paid for kitchen cabinets that you had installed in your kitchen but that were purchased by him. All right. Um, tell me what happened. Well, um, I was looking for kitchen cabinets, of course, for my kitchen. And in January, uh, I went to the kitchen uh, factory, I'm sorry. And um, when I walked in, uh, the salesman that I had was Anthony. And he showed me around and said, oh, I'm sure you've gone to other places like Home Depot and Lowe's. He says, but he says, we have better cabinets. Our cabinets are all made in the United States and they're in, in made from China. The, they're being Home Depot and Lowe's are like made from Lowe's China. Like Lowe's and the Lowe's. And the presumption place. is that if it comes from China, it must be garbage. And if it comes from America, it must be good. Neither right. assumption of which is a safe assumption to make. But anyway, go ahead. Okay. So, and he showed me around and I was looking at, at uh, you know, some, I said, I can't have any custom made. I can't afford that. So he showed me cabinets in my price range. All right, did you buy actual cherry or cherry stained pine? Uh, it said that it was cherry glaze. Cherry glaze, what are they, pine? No, it's a, it's a cherry dough with a cherry glaze stain. Okay, so they're, but it's actual cherry wood. Yes. So the cabinets come in. And at the uh, so time, they looked good to you because you pay to have them installed by a third party. Yes. Okay. I had the. Uh, and so they're I, installed, and then what goes wrong? Well, I had them for a while. I, you know, uh, I was pretty uh, well pleased with them, and then uh, they were installed in February, and then in November, I started to notice that the doors were starting to get hairline cracks in the doors, and before I knew it, it's a very small area. All of the doors on started to get cracks. I have some with me. You have, have some of the doors with you? Yes. Well, let's they, see them. You know, they asked me to take... Uh, sure. Okay. So, I see what you're talking about, that there's these hairline cracks. Mm -hmm. I, I asked them to send someone to look at them, and they said, no, send us uh, some pictures. Okay. So uh, I asked my daughter, and she came over with a camera, and she uh, took the pictures. All right, so you send them the pictures, and what happens? And then my daughter kept uh, in touch. Uh, okay, so what happens? So she said, Louise, I spoke with Louisa, who was very nice, and she said that she would contact the manufacturer and see what they could do. And then they end up sending you new doors? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what was it, first of all, how many doors did they have to send you? How many doors did they replace? Uh, it was eight doors, I believe. Eight. Okay, eight doors out of how many? Out of eight. Out of eight. So then they replace the eight doors, and that this should do it, except many, it doesn't. Many, Why doesn't it? They had imperfections. This one had a chip in it. They were two with chips. I have pictures here. Okay, let me see um, the, the replacement. Door, or the, the problem the... with the replacement ones. Okay. That's, in, and that's in this box. Okay. Okay. And I have, a, I have that door with us. One yeah, let me doors. see. When did you notice the imperfections in them? Uh, she in opens the, it. As soon as you opened it. And, and I, what were the defects? Well, they were chips. 
This one, I believe, is the one with the chip. Yeah. Two of, them must, uh, two of them uh, must have been on uh, a display because I saw where the screws had been put in the doors. Yeah, so, that one's got, that one's just damaged completely. So when I called Louisa to inform her, she said she would contact the manufacturer. Okay, again. when did you call Louisa? Right as soon as she opened Is Louisa them. in the room? Is that no. you? No. Okay. Yeah, I spoke with Louisa, and she said she'd contact the manufacturer, but she was sure that they wouldn't do anything because... They wouldn't send another set yeah. of doors. Okay, let me hear from you, uh, Mr. Della Monica. Yes. Uh, in reference to uh, the company, I have a piece of evidence marked uh, number three where the company did send us back uh, a notice saying that we can send uh, the customer a repair kit to touch up the doors. Many of the photos that were attached in this email seem to be of natural wood variations and not defects. Now, Stop. I want you to see what they're talking about because it's not, the picture doesn't really do it. You really have to feel it. Um, sh bring him those because I want you to see what she's talking about and I want you to run your finger over it. Uh, it's not an issue of a repair. It's an issue that the wood is splitting. Uh, I don't know why cherry wood would split like that. Would, but Clearly there's a problem with the doors. Right. Clearly. Right. What do you think it is? Uh, quite honestly, I, I don't know. But in my defense, I do have to say that in my showroom, and I have pictures with me to show you, in both designers' stations, I have signs uh, that say, please ask us the difference between American-made cabinets and imported Chinese cabinets, and we do that for a reason, because these cabinets are not regulated by the government. Are like those America. Chinese? They are. She, she seems to think that she didn't buy Chinese, I hate doing this, but she seems to think that she didn't buy Chinese cabinets. Well, that's quite impossible because I do have pictures of my showroom where the signs sit above each design. Well, maybe that's why she thinks that. She thinks that that's a statement by you saying you don't sell them. No, I, w I wouldn't tell the customer. The salesman told no. me. I that would. what, that you don't sell Chinese cabinets? Right, because when I said I, I went to Home Depot and I went to Lowe's, this she says yes, but their, their cabinets are made in China. We don't sell anything made in China. That's not true. Or out of the, well, that's what he told that's me. My, when my, I my okay, stop talking to each other, please. When I spoke Ask us the Andrew. difference between American-made cabinets and Chinese-made cabinets. Right. If you slide over one more, that's the other designer's position. We have two designer stations, and both designer stations have that. Yeah, no, but, but you're not proving anything. You're just saying, ask me the difference between American-made cabinets and Chinese-made cabinets. She's saying that they actually told her, we don't sell Chinese-made cabinets. You're saying they didn't because you do. I don't know what they I said to make a sale. That, I Maybe that he said that to you, uh, you know, talk to you about the difference, and then the one you ended up picking was a Chinese-made I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but Honor, either way, whether it's Chinese made or not, I really don't care. You know, you buy cabinets, you don't expect them to last six months. They cracked. Absolutely. Right. I agree. Right. I replaced the doors with no argument. Right. But then the, that, here, here's where the problem lies is that, by the way, when you replaced the doors, did the manufacturer pay for that or did you guys? The, manu the manufacturer paid for them. It. So then when the doors come in, those doors have a problem. They have nicks and cuts. They have... Well, uh, one of them looks like a display model. There were two doors that looked like they needed touching up because the well, there stain was... There were two that were nicked. Uh, there were two uh, that, that needed touching up. So right. did you send somebody out there to touch it yeah, up? Yeah, well, we, no, we didn't send anybody out. What we did was we offered to touch it up. The company was going to send us a touch-up kit, and we were going to come out and touch it up. You guys, or you told them, no, I'm going to send you a kit, and you can touch it up? Yes, that's, that's what, what they, they said. said. Right. Well, whoever installed it. Let's, we didn't install Why the Why would cabinets. they pay somebody to touch up the cabinets well, if they're supposed to be pristine and last longer than eight chipped, months? Because if they were chipped, if they were chipped, it might have taken place when the installation took no, no, place. No, 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 no. The chipping no is chip. not on the old doors. The chipping is on the new doors that got sent by the manufacturer. Okay. But the issue is, what is the cost to repair it mm -hmm. and who should have to bear that? Okay, does cherry wood split naturally? You said you're a home inspector? Okay, you're the man to talk to. That's correct, I'm a home inspector and like any other kind of flooring, you have to treat it right and you have to- well, This is a cabinet. Well, you would have to maintenance, you would have to finish it. But do they split naturally? Is it part of the character of cherry wood? It is, yes. So they would split, it would, all, it would split naturally? If it was out in the woods, yes. No, it's in a kitchen! Then no, it should not be splitting in a kitchen. <laughs> Okay, am I going for a no here in the kitchen? Yes, no. It should not split in a kitchen finish. Okay, yes, no. 
No. Got it. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Let me tell you what is missing in this case. Anybody giving Judge Milian an estimate of what a repair would cost. Because you march in here and you want $2,800. How, what expect, exactly do you expect to have happen? Let's say, which I'm not, that I order him to repay you $2,800. That means a cabinet's belong to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's gonna happen? Somebody's gonna rip out all your cabinets? And who's gonna pay for that? And who's gonna pay for the installation that you paid somebody, or who's gonna reimburse you for that? How are you ending up better by your solution? It's a ridiculous solution. It was never gonna happen here. And when you tell her, or your people tell her, that, oh, we'll get you a cow, China send you a kit. You think that they're gonna swallow that? They're not gonna swallow that. No problem, Your Honor, going sending a representative there to touch Except up the Except for that you never did, okay? Because when everything has gone to pot like this, and they're not being unreasonable because they keep sending you pictures, the next step would be that you send somebody, if you're not gonna go, to see the problem and see the solution. Because for you, it's a cheap solution because you can do it. Mm -hmm. Ah, but we're past that, aren't we? No, we're not passing it. Well, we I'll, might I'll, be. Maybe they don't want you back in there. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Would you like me to order them to come in and try to make you happy by fixing the defects in the door? Or would you like me to guess at what it's going to cost you to pay somebody to do it? And then I might end up being wrong. Mm -hmm. You can take what's behind the curtain or what's <laughs> behind door number one. Well, I don't know if, if you know, if it could be fixed that... You know. I'm looking I, at I, it. I thought that maybe, being that I'm so afraid now that they could crack again, whatever they do, oh, no, no, I don't. No, 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 no. But but because then they won't follow up again. It's just that it just. Uh, I'm, I can already see what's going to happen. I'm not going to put you guys in contact with each other. So yes. what I'm going to do is I'm going to estimate what I think it would cost to do the repair. First, let me ask you the question: mm -hmm. What would it? Do, what do you believe? Understanding that mm -hmm. I'm asking you, of course. What do you believe it would cost to do that repair? You would have to send not a, you. What it would cost? You, you would have to send somebody out there for the day, a refinishing guy that knows what he's doing, and he's going to charge at least three hundred dollars. Right. Okay. So if that's what you say, I'm going to estimate that if they're finding somebody fresh, not somebody who owes it to them, it's probably going to cost them five hundred dollars. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of five hundred dollars so that you can repair the doors. That's my judgment. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, the plaintiff chooses uh, the, to get $500 rather than to have you come over and, and repair it for her or one of your men. Uh, you disappointed that she didn't choose you? No, I'm not disappointed. Uh, my uh, knowledge in situations like this is, you know, when you're a little disappointed with someone, get someone else mm -hmm. at the end of the day. It's, you know, a representative. We should have sent a representative out there. If we had the opportunity to do so, we would have. But, uh, you know, $500 is reasonable to have the, someone mm -hmm. go out there and repair it. Yeah, but it's so, your reputation on the line out here. Yeah, but I, I replaced the doors, and I've done what I needed to do. Uh, you think you did all you could for this customer? Absolutely, without a doubt. So I'm satisfied. All right, all right. Guys. Head right down this way and follow Officer McIntosh, please. All right, and let's see uh, how satisfied you are uh, coming out here with a $500 award from the judge to get these cabinets fixed on your own now. Yeah, well, I'm not satisfied with the decision. I'm, I'm happy that I won and to show that the factory is really not a very reputable firm. And um, I, I wouldn't have won anything to do with them to fix them or anything like that. You're going to have to go out and find somebody now oh, yeah. to get that done for and you. And anybody would be better than them. <laughs> okay, Harvey? <laughs> Okay, so this stuff happens all the time where somebody um, gets sued for something for worksman workmanship and they end up saying, look, it wasn't my fault, it's part of the wood. And then the judge says, look, you're the one that chose the wood, you're the one that's responsible and you have to pay the customer. The person who puts the wood in, in this case the cabinets, does have recourse. They could go against the manufacturer if there really is a defect, but that can often be a hassle.